Hey y'all, welcome to the Pungo Prairie. Now I just about had supper working when I got a call from a good buddy of mine that said, Hey Dixon, I shot a young doe this evening. You want it? Are you kidding me? Fresh kill? Even if I have to do, take it out in the field and gut it. Fresh deer heart and liver? That's one of my all-time favorites. And I'm going to show y'all how to fix it up the Pungo Prairie Way. So don't go nowhere because you don't want to miss this. Man, this one was head shot. So that deer heart and liver is gonna be in good shape. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's gonna be some fine eating right there now. Right there in that pan. There's that liver. Time I soak that up in a little bit of milk. Fry it in some butter and bread it with some onions. That little rascal will cool out good tonight because it's going down in the 30s and I'll just skin her out in the morning. But right now, I'm going to go soak this in some buttermilk. Now generally, when I'm out in the field and I got some snow, I lay this heart and liver right on the snow and cool it out quick. But since I don't have that luxury tonight, I'm going to give it a nice ice water bath. Chill it right on down. Add a little sprinkling of kosher salt in that ice water. Just toss it around a little bit. Get that blood out of there. Now I've had our heart and liver soaking in this ice and salt water bath in the fridge overnight. And I'm just going to drain them out in a colander here. And rinse them off with some nice cold water. And we're going to take our little liver here and just carve it up separate the different lobes and just carve us up some nice slices about five eighths of an inch thick just like so we're going to do a little trim right here Carve this one up. Right on down with it. All right. I'm just going to take a few of these nice slices of this young venison liver. Oh my goodness. Put in this little bowl right here. And we got us a bottle here of some nice low fat cultured buttermilk. And we're going to give our liver a nice drenching in that buttermilk. Make sure it gets all evenly distributed around in there. Perfect. Now we're going to save our little deer heart here for another time. Because it's just me here tonight and I don't think I can eat the heart and the liver by myself. Now I know this vacuum seal bag was a little on the big side, but it was all I had. Maybe I should have just cut it in half. And we're just going to let our liver slices soak here in this buttermilk bath for several hours in the refrigerator while I go and finish skinning out that deer. Now I'm just going to take our little buttermilk marinated liver slices, kind of drain that milk off of them a bit, lay them over here on this little plate. Just kind of pat them dry a little bit, transfer them over, pat that side. We don't want them swimming 
and we get ready to bread them up. Some about like that's what you want to see. And I'm just going to take some of this total seasoning here, or you can use any kind of seasoning you want, or maybe just some salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, whatever blows your skirt up. And just put a little sprinkling of our seasoning on them. And then I like to hit it with a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Now right here, I've sliced up a sweet onion, like a Vidalia or a Mayan, because I like my onions sweet. Melt up some butter in this little iron skillet here. And we're just going to get our onions sauteing up in there and that butter. A little salt, a little fresh ground pepper. And right here, I got a little bit of this store-bought brown gravy mix. Just going to get that gravy working. Okay, we got all the lumps worked out of our gravy. I'm going to add these nice sliced mushrooms. Just give them a little stir around in there and get them all mixed in good. Meanwhile, I got a cup of all-purpose flour and a quarter cup of cornstarch. And I'm just going to take and put our flour in this little mixing bowl and blend in our cornstarch. Just a little whisk. Get it all mixed in nice and even. And I got a teaspoon of some baking soda. I'm going to take about two-thirds of this stick of butter here and melt it up in this other little iron skillet. Take our liver slices, cut them up nice in this flour mixture here. Transfer them to this other plate. All right, perfect. Now we're going to take our breaded up liver right down in our melted butter here. Shake that excess flour off. And I'm going to give our liver about three and a half minutes to brown up in that butter on that side. Flip it over. And give it another three and a half minutes on the second side. I'm going to add in a little bit of this sherry wine into our gravy. Get our blanched green beans going in this butter and garlic. Turn the heat back on our onions. Give them a little toss around in there again. The heat down on our gravy. Give our green beans a little stir. A little salt. A little fresh ground black pepper. It's been three and a half minutes. I'm going to flip it one more time. Give our liver about another minute. Okay, let's plate it up. Three nice slices on there. On goes our onions. I like to smother it with them onions. Aren't they pretty? Some of that good mushroom gravy. And those mashed potatoes I made when y'all weren't looking. Mm-mm. Put a little bit of that gravy right over top of that liver and onions. And some of these good old garlic green beans. A nice warm yeast roll. A nice cabernet. And we're ready to eat. Dear Lord, thank you for creating so many nourishing critters and teaching us how to fix them up so tasty. Bless this meal now to strengthen our bodies for a life in thee. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Now you know I've been dying to dive into this. Mmm, look at that. It's just a little bit of pink going on. Get some of that onion with it. Mmm. That is so tender. Now I'm going to tell you something. That's some liver you can love. And that, girls and boys, is what's cooking on the Pungo Prairie. Next time, we're going to cook up that heart.